I always say that he grocery shops for sport. I love it. It's, it's hunting. Buy one, get one free. Two pounds for about a buck and a half. I don't know that anybody needs okay. 200 pounds of flour at a time. Still got the hen turkeys on sale, huh? Oh, well, people use it. We go through it. Can we really get through all 40 bags before all of it goes bad? Bulk buying is OK. Hoarding is not OK. bringing stuff in, whether it's groceries or other things like that. And, but then Betsy doesn't organize them. And she says, I bring in too much stuff for her to organize. <laughs> it seems like I'll just get everything away that he bought. I'll finally be able to fit it in all the cupboards and then he'll come home with several cases of food again. And it's like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> it just kind of, grows and grows if you don't be real specific and or have some kind of a plan to try to take care of or keep up with things like that. can that's right above the Foster's can on the second row? Where? To the left. left, left, left more down, left. Down, that down, one, down, that down. one. Has that got a dent in it? Take it down and put another one in there. In his mind, he identifies himself as a collector rather than a compulsive hoarder. Remember we talked about the difference between collector and hoarder? We are now looking at the collector again. We can admire... You know, some exactly the same, it's just I don't have the clutter anymore. I think it is important for Dickie to start seeing that he can sell his things, that he can make some money. And hopefully he'll go through the process of getting some psychological help because he can see what he has. He'll see the forest from the trees. <laughs>